three of five against the Twins uh, with a big finish last night. So 7-10 tonight is the first of, I think, three. because they Yesterday go to, afternoon. Was yesterday afternoon? It's a game, a day game. Ah, there you go. Uh, so they'll play the Yankees today, tomorrow, and Sunday, and then July 4th. Uh, they'll be in Detroit to play the Tigers at uh, Comerica Park. So 7-10 tonight. And as July is underway, you can use the promo code FIREWORK anytime this month for 20% off at CLE Clothing Company. Hey, Joe. Hello. What's going on? How you doing, Paul? Average. Great. What's up? Can you hear me? Yes. Hey, uh, 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 the thing about the sushi, um, I never was much into it, but when I was a little kid, and I lived uh, in Russell Township at the time, and they finally made the, the uh, Chagrin River safe enough to actually put trout in it. Before it wasn't, mm-hmm. they tested the waters, the water department did and everything. They put trout in it, and every day I went down there to fish. My dog was right with me. He was a 120-pound Alaskan Malamute, and he'd, that barber go under, and he knew he was going to have a treat. Because the, the little fingerlings I give him, I flip them off the hook and give it to him. But sushi wasn't my favorite. But that dog loved them. I mean, he ate them right down good and tight. <laughs> I and, mean, uh, a lot of dogs will eat anything, too. Yeah, yeah. Dogs will also eat gas station <laughs> sushi. Yeah, he was huge. A beautiful dog, too. He was a master. Mm-hmm. His name was Lobo. Lobo. Which means wolf. Sure. It, yeah. Great name for a dog. And, uh, I Not a tribute to Claude Aikens? In my lifetime. And, uh, Nothing. Go ahead. No. So, but my son likes sushi, and I don't care for it. I don't know if anybody else does, but uh, the only thing I get to sushi is maybe uh, a shrimp cocktail, which is my, my favorite. A shrimp cocktail is I your sushi. Eat. I gotcha. Yeah, that's my, that's my sushi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yes, sir. All uh, right. That's all I wanted to share with you. And you guys have a great day and have a safe 4th of July. Same to you, Joe. Don't Thank you, pal. Don't tell me how to celebrate my freedom. <laughs> that's right. I'm Thank you. Have a dangerous 4th of July. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Hold those fireworks until the very last moment. Uh huh. That's how people know you're tough. A lot of people pointing out that, of course, Lake Erie is like the third most populated lake in the United States. Mary knows that. She dug it by hand. Don't tell me the lake facts. I'll and that's do what, what I they're talking. Most populated? But huh? Polluted, I think. Polluted. Polluted. Yeah. <laughs> did I say populated? You did say populated. Sorry, polluted, yeah. Um, but they also have that, what people are talking about with Edgewater Beach, I know you know this too, is they have that huge sewage overflow pipe. That's what I was talking about. That's at Edgewater Beach, yeah, and so, so when it rains, dude. it flows into so the don't lake. don't go after it rains. My point is but you the, can do the, it safely. You the, can the point go. is that Edgewater Beach might not be like, that might not want to be your home base. Well, that was where for, I, I lived in Rocky River, and I lived in Lakewood for a while, so that's when I would go there the most. Not worth traveling to another beach where there wasn't a sewage overflow pipe? It was closest. Yeah. No, I understand the proximity. I'm just thinking, like, near where I grew up, uh, the the beaches were not great either, so you'd have to go to a beach that was okay, you know. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Say what uh, you will. Okay, yeah. judge me, lest ye be judged. No, no, no. Listen, I, I'm 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 curious, not judgmental. I, I'm I'm curious what would. Uh, anytime I see somebody in a lake, go all the way under, I, I get a little bit of a pucker. Yeah. It just makes me a little bit nerve. My in laws, my my father in law. Um, you know, he has a huge lake house in Michigan on like a smallish lake. And we love going out there in the summertime. He's got his own beach, the boats and all that stuff, and it's great. But it's... What do you think is going to happen if you submerge? I don't know. How is it any different than I my... think of, I think of Bill Squire falling into the Cuyahoga River and he comes out and his eye stops working. I didn't like, say I, I don't... hung out in the river. Those were I don't unrelated know. incidents. <laughs> Says you. I don't it bathe in the river. Weeks apart. Well, for the purposes of the bit... <laughs> delayed. It was delayed. It was a delayed reaction. So what I'm saying is, it's fine. Just, it's fine. Just live a little. Just have a little excitement in your life. Mm-hmm. Just submerge yourself in Lake Erie and see what happens. And this coming from a fish detective. I am a fish detective. I know you were. You think you'd know better. That's what I'm saying. If anything, this should... My accreditation as a fish detective should... 
give you more confidence in me. Hmm. Do you think you're spreading yourself a little too thin? I don't think the, you know she's, me. Well, she's just, scooping I'm out legs. <laughs> she's detecting fish. Don't get so <laughs> defensive. I'm just between uh, the... The comedy. The, 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 well, the, the comedy, radio, you know, just having a life. Then you get the the lawyer thing mm-hmm. that you were doing. Uh, fish detective, mm-hmm. cod past. Cod I mean, pass and fish detective <laughs> go together, though. I know, but it's still a lot yeah, of work. Yeah, is. but I'm like Superwoman. And people are like, you're so lazy. You sleep till 10. Well, I have six jobs. So what do you do? Wow, I don't see defensive. you being a fish oh, detective. Oh, so you're getting defensive. income from being a fish detective. Yeah. I what are the fish uh, crimes. Are you suggesting that fish detective is that is weird out? You keep weird hours? Yeah. Hmm. That's why do you think I have to sleep so late? Again, I, I don't know what the hours would be for a fish detective. I only have one job. Right. And it's to massively, massively entertain the people of Northeast Ohio and beyond. Right. So I only have time for that. Right. You... You do one job well. I do six jobs okay. That's why. Fish detective work is at night. All detective work is at night. You got to slink around while they're But the dormant. fish are sleeping at night. Wake them up. But you're not really detecting them if yes, they're... I am. Can you give me an example of a fish crime? <laughs> Wake them up. One of your successful... <laughs> One that you've solved, like a, a case fish you, crime? Yeah, a case that you've solved. There was a goldfish that a child had won at the fair that she was very concerned about that her parents said went to go live on a farm, and I found the farm and brought her fish back. A fish farm? Yes. Wow. Farm-raised goldfish. Mm-hmm. She was very happy. Her name was Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. But it seems like her parents were clearly trying to divert her from what had happened with the fish, and you really screwed up their plans. She hired me. The kid I, hired you. I follow you. the money, man. But I thought that that job didn't pay. No, I, I, I thought you were. I, th- I thought fish detective was pro bono. Work. No, no, uh, no, no. The lawyer's pro bono. <laughs> oh, fish uh, detecting. It's a good. You're good paid thing. for that. Yes. And this kid happened to have the funds to support. What, Broke your, open her piggy bank. Your per diem was taken care of. How many days? I would imagine maybe one day you were able to do this. Mm-hmm. How many days? So she had you on a retainer. Yeah. And you said, were you giving her updates? Yeah. And you were able to do this all without the watchful eye of her parents. Yeah. How old was this kid? Six. Six. Mm-hmm. Wow. So she really had some moxie. Yeah. She was uh, had the wherewithal to go, I think, not only do I think that my parents are lying to me, I'm independently funded. And I'm going to hire a fish and detective. And I'm going to hire a fish detective. But it turns out her parents didn't lie to her. They said it went to live on a farm. Mary discovered it on the farm, brought it back from the farm. Yeah. Mm. So. I'm just really good. I don't mm-hmm. have to tell you. Unless Mary just told the kid that it was the same fish. and It was just the same fish. It told fish. me. Well, now I don't believe what you just said. You don't speak I, Gil? I don't believe anything that you just said. Gilish? <laughs> Alan, I'm reeling at how many jobs Mary has. I do. Waves also, of income. Waves of income. Waves of income. I'm also hearing from people who do work for the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District. And, of course, they don't want to. Uh, they won't abide any lake slander. Uh, the health of the lake has come a long way since the 60s and 70s. Mary did a phenomenal job digging that lake. You are so welcome. They, yeah. Citizens of Cleveland. Listen, I had no idea, and I've been here a dozen years almost. I had no, uh, almost? Or, I uh, I had no idea that you were uh, to thank for Lake Erie. It's a thankless job. As it should be, I think. Like parenting. Lake digging. So no what is cares. the what that so what is the biggest case that you've solved as a fish detective? Oh, a twelve pound bass. A twelve pound bass. Mm-hmm. I believe it's of? pronounced bass, but go ahead. It was laying eggs where it shouldn't, mm-hmm. and the other fish were getting very upset, and mm-hmm. a fisherman noticed that the other bass This were... was in Ohio? And, yeah. who, and who hired you for this? The fisherman. He oh, noticed okay. that the bass were acting uh, displeased. Mm-hmm. And uh, what is a fish? Well, like what are the mannerisms of a displeased fish? So you know how a uh, bass will normally be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. a displeased bass will. <laughs> <laughs> <I> just, Go <laughs> ahead. A displeased, <laughs> a displeased bass will go. <laughs> oh, so it sounds. So whereas a person might sound excited, the bass is displeased. It sounds like it's drowning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And this was a 12-pound bass. It's a huge fish. That's the, that's why it's the biggest case I've ever I cracked. was going to say, mm-hmm. anything over five or six pounds is a massive fish. I have to be clear. The bass that was laying the eggs where it shouldn't was not displeased. It was the other fish that were displeased. That's why the Because it was laying the fish cracked. where it should. I see. Being a real bass hole. Yes. Huh. And the fisherman <laughs> said, hey, I think my 
fish are upset. And I said, sounds like a case for fish detective. This guy was a fish snitch. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, we so you had to you, you had to use like a 12-pound line to get this. You had to catch the fish? <laughs> bare hands. Bare handed. You just needed a flashlight. Wow. You went hillbilly hand fishing. You know then. me. You stuck your arm. You were elbow mm-hmm. deep. Yeah. Put it in the hole, pull it out, mm-hmm. fish on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> Three, a 12-pound <laughs> fish on your arm. Yeah. I'm very wow. strong. Yeah, I guess you are. Well, you dug a lake all by yourself. <laughs> Is 12 pounds so strong? <laughs> yeah. Okay. For one arm? Yeah, that's pretty strong. <laughs> I'm going to give you some money here. I'm going to let everybody process this. Maybe you need a fish detective on retainer. She doesn't come cheap. You might need $1,000 to do it. Here's a chance to uh, go fuel yourself. Good luck. The Buzzard wants you to go fuel yourself and score $1,000. Enter the nationwide keyword GRAND at WMMS.com. That's GRAND. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Next chance for you to win is around 4.30, and then 5.30 is going to be the very last uh, keyword uh, for you to uh, get this week. I was reading about... A lot of people are flying over the holiday, and the thing that comes with that are flights being canceled and blah, 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 and just the uncertainty that comes with that kind of travel. And I was reading a story about how Delta was offering people... You know where they go, hey, we're oversold... If you volunteer to take a later flight Mm -hmm. or whatever, we'll give you a voucher, we'll put you up in a hotel, whatever it is. Story about that. Delta had a flight from Detroit. I want to get this right. Delta had a flight from Detroit to Minnesota. I think it was Detroit to Minneapolis, and it was oversold. They needed eight people to leave the plane, and they offered them (gasps) $10,000 a piece. Dude, that's what I was going to say. The pe- and these people that were talking to you were like, no, we wanted to get where we were going. I'm like, what? I, I can't believe geez. I can't believe everybody didn't get off the flight. So when I was flying to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to do that college gig a couple months ago, I had to fly out of Detroit. And the same thing happened where they were like, hey, if you were overbooked, we need seven people, whatever it was. They started at like, we'll give you however much you paid for your flight, we'll give you the flight credit. Yeah, they haggle. Nobody stood up. Yep. And then I was like... I would have done it. I was like, if I didn't have somewhere to be, I have to go to work. I can't I can't miss this. And then they went up, like, all right, we'll give you your flight credit and a fifty dollar Amazon gift card. Nobody moved. We'll give you a flight credit and a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. They got all the way up to a five hundred dollar Visa gift card before the first person got up to go get it. Which means that's where they like they already have all that. They lowball you oh, to see who time. will do it. Yeah. The, I think the only time we ever did that is we were coming back from ACL. So we were in the Austin airport. And I think they offered us like a five hundred, like two five hundred dollar vouchers yeah. or something. So we sat for like another eight hours to take a later flight. Well, I was ten thousand um, dollars. The stewardess gets on the microphone and goes, "If you have Apple Pay, you can have. The, we'll get you the money right now. No and, taxes." And people are sitting there That's going, "Crazy." Um, no, because I got to go to Alaska, and you know, another guy said, "My wife needs me with her because she has limited eyesight." Which okay, you're not going to leave her, but still, like then 10, you have both of them, right? Like, you, you get twenty thousand. There you go. You got that pays for LASIK. Or whatever. But, okay, so the gambler's mentality in me, how long do you sit there? Like, you hear them get to a grand, and then they're at 2500 and you're like, man, I got to go take this money. Well, they started at, to your point where they start low and get yeah. you up. They started at five, and nobody got Thousand? up. Thousand? Yeah. They started, it got to 10000 Oh, my they God. They started at five, and nobody got up. One guy was like, I looked at my wife, and she didn't want to get off, but we saw four other people get off and do it. They needed eight people, 80 grand. They were going to pay out. And there's people going, no. <laughs> I mean, whatever. You, you, you want to get where you want to get. But, man, if they go $10,000. you have Apple deck. Pay, we'll no give it to you No wonder flying is expensive. What? I just can't get over the fact they said, if you have Apple Pay, we'll give it to you right now. Right. I just can't imagine just that instant mm-hmm. money. $10,000. I'd be like, get get I'm off this out. plane yeah. immediately. I don't care. Yeah, I was like, I don't care about this flight. I'll fly private for this with my $10,000. Mm-hmm. Displeased Bass is, of course, on tour with <laughs> Static X next spring. Hmm. Poundcake should hire Mary to dig that hole in Moscow. Yeah, that big old trench. No. That to save his, Michael uh, Jackson. To save Michael Jackson. See, right. that's a lot. Well, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Well, especially since he's dead. Right, that's what I mean. But if you were able to go back and do it all over again, who knows? No, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? No. 
Because you don't save humans, you save fish. It's not a fish crime, yeah, I can't. What constitutes a fish crime? Is well, it something that's... a silly that's... question. Now you're being condescending. Well, that's why I ask. You know what the law is, right? When the law fish is law? broken, fish law, when mm -hmm. fish law is broken <laughs> by human or fish. Oh, by human or fish. Yes. How does a human break fish law? I don't, I don't, listen, I don't abide by fish law, as mm -hmm. I assume fish don't abide by human laws. So I wouldn't even know, they say ignorance is no excuse, but I wouldn't even know if I was breaking fish law. That's the problem. Oh, that we got to get more yeah. up to speed I'm with what's going to, on? I'm trying to put out the word about fish law and how when you're in a lake or an ocean, that's not your home, that's their home, and you have to abide by the laws in their home. Like how you don't like it when people take your shoes off at of your house. Mm -hmm. I want people to take shoes off at of my house. So when you're in the ocean or a lake, you have to abide, abide by fish law. There's like there's Jay walking, there's Jay swimming. There's only certain Oh, Jay lanes. swimming. Yes. That's when you go from one. Mm -hmm. I see Jay swimming. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'll never be accused swimming of that. Swimming crosswalks? There are swimming crosswalks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where? In the school. How are they marked? They're marked with seaweed. And that's when people... That's, see, this is why it's always such a problem. It's because people take the seaweed and like, oh, this is disgusting, and they throw it, not realizing that's infrastructure. Infrastructure? That they're, that they're destroying. Huh. Yeah. All right. So I need to now get myself hip to if I'm... First of all, I will tell you this right now, and this might be controversial, might be a hot take, but I'll tell you, because I'm candid with you. Mm -hmm. Uh... I don't care if I'm breaking fish law. Alan, I'll say it right see? here. Don't care. And people like you are why I'm employed. Why I make so much money. So you're out there rounding up people oh, too? Yes. That sounds to be a much higher level of difficulty. It's it's way harder. A lot of people don't care. You can't put your hand in a person and pull it out. Well, <laughs> depends on how much she's had a drink. I mean. <laughs> it depends on how much I'm being paid to do it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you. I know, Bill, you've been gone for a couple of days, so there's probably a certain level of reacclimating to the environment here, but holy cow. I, I like am I blown away. Beak. Blown away. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me, uh, let me think about that for a second. Ponder it. You know what? I don't need to. Don't care if I'm breaking fish law. That's unbelievable. That's just me. Don't care. Because I'm an outlaw. I'm mm -hmm. a... I'm a... What? I'm an outlaw, Jenny. What's the line? The stupid peewee line, everybody listen. I'm an outlaw, Franny. I don't know. Okay, let me uh, take a break. 3.52.